Hey guys, today I'm at Square Pond in Shapley, Maine. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the lake, the community surrounding the lake, what the roads are like, where the conveniences are, if you need groceries or you need to get to one of the box stores for something for shopping. And we're gonna talk about real estate prices as well as the schools. And if you stick around to the end, I'll take a drone up in the air, fly around and give you a bird's eye view of what the parts of the lake look like. And we're going to get after it right now. is pretty big body of water so there's a lot of cottages on this pond and i think what i remember most about visiting square pond is it's kind of uh, a festive pond party pond you know that uh i don't know that's just the kind of the way i looked at the pond but you know other people may feel differently a lot of activity a lot of fun jet skis a lot of water skiing things like that not as quiet i guess as maybe what I should say in comparison to some of the other ponds, but a great place to come and visit. So one of the things that I like to do when I visit these ponds is go for a walk, check out the local area and see what it's like. A little bit different about Square Pond because it's so big and there's so many people that live around the pond, you're gonna find that the roads around the pond are paved. So it's not those cute dirt roads that you'll see around places like Granny Kent Pond. Now that has some advantages because those dirt roads get dusty and when cars go by, if it hasn't rained in a while, sometimes you can see a cloud of dust from the cars going by moving towards your cottage. You're probably not gonna like that. But I'm not gonna go for a really far walk around Square Pond because, you know, it's just asphalt going around the pond. There are certainly some dirt roads, some really cute areas around Square Pond, but I'm near the public uh, beach and I'll show you where that is on the Google Maps. Before we get into that, let's take a look at Zillow and see what real estate is selling for in this area. All right, guys, I have Zillow up here and just to help you get your bearings, Here's York, Agunquit, Wells, Kennebunk, Bitterford, you know, the coast here. So we traveled like 45 minutes anyway to get to uh, Square Pond and, well, maybe even closer to an hour, depending on where you live on Square Pond, right? If you live on the north end. So Square Pond is bordered by two towns. You got Acton here on the left and Shapley here on the right. And that Square Pond right here below is the Mousum. Granny Kent's up here. That's Great East, and I'll do separate videos on those. So let's keep drilling in here on Square Pond and these properties. I selected uh, houses that are pending, so these are basically not, no longer available. So a million, you know, 860,000. Yeah, they're, they're really expensive. And that's, if you look down here on the Mousum, it tends to be a little less expensive, but you know, there's still some properties that go for a look at, look at that, you know, 2.58 million. And then if we go up to Great East, which is one of my favorites, um, comparable to probably Square Pond, you're gonna find, if you can find any, like there's very little inventory, only one that sold for 1.25 million. Now, if you're looking for something a little smaller because you don't like all that boat activity, which is my preference, uh, I'll head up here to Granny Kent. These ponds are super clean as well. So Granny Kent, you know, a little bit more reasonable, but you know, you're only 54 acres, all right? So let's get back to the video and do a drive around in my car, my truck, to show you what some of these properties look like from the road. And I'll, I did that along here. And uh, I'll also do uh, a flyby and a drone along the coast. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, what I did is I left the public beach and took a left. I'm heading north on the pond just to give you an idea of what they look like from the street side. I'm on the asphalt, so cars tend to, you know, if you're close to the road like this, you're going to hear cars, you know, driving by all pretty much all day long. These, these, this pond is so big, it's, it's uh, very busy. Um, so, you know, but you don't get the dust, and I'm going to cut over to a dirt road here pretty quick and uh, give you an idea of what it, that looks like as well. I prefer that kind of uh, setting for my camp. Uh, the road that I'm on with my cottage, my house, is uh, on a dirt road, and I like that. Cars drive a little slower, but you do get some dust, you know, so it's really like, you know, 
pick your poison, I guess, sometimes. Um, but yeah, I just love this being on a dirt road. It makes me feel like, you know, I'm at camp, you know. Cars are going by a lot slower. Uh, I'm more apt to go for a walk on these dirt roads in the evening. And I like to, you guys know, I like to go for walks. Uh, I'm not going to drive on, I'm not going to walk on the asphalt with cars flying by me. So this looked like a really good area to kind of show, you know, it's going to be a little quieter in here. Um, and, you know, by driving through like this, a lot of times I walk, it gives you an idea to slow down and just look at properties. And I recommend walking uh, as if you've watched any of my other videos, because you pick up on all the little things, you know, there's, are there boats sitting in the yard, you know, are the guys keeping their lawn mowed, or keeping it cleaned up, pine needles on the roof, you know, big deal, right? And it's not a big deal, but, you know, it might be to some of, of, of the people that watch my videos. So by walking rather than driving, it slows you down. And But I just wanted to cover as many houses as possible, which is why I'm driving. Another reason I like to walk is you meet people. And by meeting people, you can ask them, oh, hey, I'm looking at buying that piece of property down there. Um, what do you think of the area? Do you like it? How long have you been here? And, you know, if they've been here for 20 years, they're going to tell you more than you probably want to know about the water. Has it changed over the years? Gives you a chance to just, you know, meet some people and, you know, find how friendly people that are. Do they have chickens? Do you hear dogs barking and stuff like that? So, you know, get there in the morning, go for a walk, get there in the evening, go for another walk. You'll meet more people and have a totally different uh, experience. And you want to do that because it's such a large investment. If you're new to this channel, my name is Michael and my partner is Margaret. And if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about living in Southern Maine, then click subscribe and tap the bell so that you can be the first to learn about the current market in Southern Maine. We get calls and text messages every day from people just like you looking to move in nine days to 90 days. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or our favorite, schedule a Zoom. We can help you make a smooth move to Southern Maine. All right, guys. Now, before I get to the drone footage, I wanna take you on Google Maps and show you where the schools are, where the box stores are, how far you are from the beach and things like that to give you an idea of how remote this pond is in comparison to some of the other ponds and lakes in the area. Granny Kent, which is actually further north. Mousem, which is a little bit further south. So let's take a look at that. Okay, once again, guys, let's get your bearings. We got a gunkwit down here, Wells, Kenny Bonk, Bitterford, you know, we're 45 minutes to the coast to uh, get to Square Pond. So let's zoom in on Square Pond just a little bit more. There it is right there. So if you want to go grocery shopping, most people are going to head to Sanford. Some go to Waterboro. There's a Hannaford's in both towns. Uh, it's going to take you about anywhere from 25 minutes at the south to 35 minutes if you're at the north to get to, to Hannaford's to do your shopping. Why do people prefer one town over the other? It's the same store. Uh, Sanford's got the big box stores, right? Sanford's a city. It's got, you know, 20 some odd thousand people. Waterboro's got like 10,000 some odd people. So you've got Walmart. If you want to drive another 10 minutes and add, you know, 10 minutes to your commute, you can go down to, uh, yeah, Walmart, uh, Lowe's. You've got the huge dealerships down there. And uh, so you got more restaurants. So let's talk about restaurants a little bit beyond grocery stores. Zoom in some more. You've got uh, Willie's Ale Room right over here in Acton. Very good food. Actually, it's a little bit further south. Uh, very good food. And uh, and if you want something else, you can go to Iron Tail Saloon, which is a biker bar. Uh, but it's really a family style restaurant. It's a lot of fun. Both the restaurants good and a good time there. Uh, if you go a little bit further south, get back into Shapley. You've got Ted's Fried Clams. And uh, that's very good, too. So, you know, those are the pretty much the three restaurants that you have to choose from. There, are, There is ice cream in the area as well. Um, and if you go a little bit further down into Sanford, you get even more restaurants like Applebee's and things like that. A great Mexican restaurant down there as well. Uh, one of my favorite diners, the Third Alarm diner, Diners down there. Uh, as far as the school system is concerned, if you're in Shapley, once you, kid, you have your own elementary school, but then they go to Waterboro, Massabesic. Once they hit high school in Acton, their own elementary school again. And once they hit high school, they're going to head down to Sanford High School. Both schools are good. And uh, so hopefully that's giving you uh, some good information. Please give me a like, guys, if you're getting good information on this. So give me feedback. You know, if, if you're a local and I said something that's not correct, please make a comment down below. Please be nice. Uh, or if you've got some constructive feedback to help people understand the area, make that comment as well. I really appreciate it. Thanks. 
Okay, just a little bit more information on the pond. The deepest area of the pond is down here. It's like maximum depth is like 45 feet. So it's not a terribly deep pond, but it is big. It's like 900, over 900 acres. So compared to Granny Kent up here, that's um, 52, 54 acres. So, you know, bigger pond, more activities, bigger boats, more jet skiing, noisier, um, you know, some people really like that, some people don't, you know, but you know, my job, I feel, in these videos is to educate you on what you're getting. So um, that's pretty much how it is there. As far as fishing is concerned, Square Pond's got great fishing, good ice fishing as well. Uh, some of the fish include brown trout, uh, smallmouth, largemouth bass, uh, white perch, yellow perch, uh, pickerel, uh, sucker fish, horn pout, which is like a catfish, I've eaten those as well, uh, pumpkin fish or sunfish and eels, which are really fun to catch and good eating. I've, I've eaten uh, eels before as well. My grandfather used to cut them up for me and we'd cook them up when I was a kid. Okay, before I get to the drone footage, I just wanna show you guys where I took this video for, with the drone. So I'm at a public beach right here. And what I did is I'm gonna take the video up in the air. I'm gonna take the drone up in the air and you know, I'll get the drone adjusted and then I'm going to cruise along the shore because I had a little problem getting up to uh, the altitude I wanted. But then I figured that out and I went up to 400 feet. You'll see this peninsula here and we'll look over at Treasure Island. And uh, so that'll give you a good view of the area. So quiz coming up, guys. What town is this over here on the left? Okay, up we go. So there's that peninsula over there on the left. And I'm just gonna keep gaining an altitude here so I get up. And you'll see more boats as I get higher up in the air. And this is where I kind of struggled here to get the altitude that I was looking for. It doesn't really matter anyway because I wanted to cruise along the coast to kind of show you that. So just let me get adjusted here. Okay, that's the public beach that I'm working for. You'll see me down there walking towards the shore, waving, hey. All right, beautiful homes, look at that. And look how clear the water is, guys. Just absolutely amazing, you know. I think you can see down, especially as I go up, you can, the water seems to get clearer as I, as I went up in altitude. And I'll, and I'll take another water shot a little bit further down on the beach. Let's just cruise along the uh, coast here so you can look at the homes. You can see some rocks down below the water and I don't know that's like probably 15 feet or so down there and you can see yeah isn't that beautiful it's just so the only reason there's some debris under the water there and typically if you're swimming you disturb the debris and it kind of goes off, goes off to the sides or you know uh, you can rake it as well although I'm not sure if you're supposed to be doing that but I know people do so there's that peninsula and I believe this is where I'm going to start going up in altitude. I'm going to get up to that 400 feet to give you a better view of the area. So guys, the town across the lake, what is it? Acton, Maine. That's right, Acton. So we're in Shapley and we're looking at Acton. And over in the mountains, way over in the horizon, that's New Hampshire. coming up here more of square pond that island right there what's it called treasure island yeah and then way off in the distance you can see some of the mouse right a lot of boats out there today and this is saturday uh, memorial day or uh, two days before memorial day excuse me long weekend so there was a lot of people 
up here. But like I said, this is a this is a busy lake anyway. July 4th, it's a lot of fun, a lot of activity. And if you like that, you know, jet skis and motorboats and stuff like that, then this could very well be the uh, pond for you to invest on. All right, so now we're just gonna bring it in for a landing. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please give it a like. And remember, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or our favorite, schedule Zoom. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.